Okay, so this video here, I'm going to show you how to work out the uh, the amount of paper required for this Dutch gable roof. Um, then I'm going to work out how long a sheet of roofing iron would be for the uh, the long side from here to here, and then also the the short side. Uh, it's a 25 degree pitch roof, and I've got um, a total length here. And the total width and I've also pointed out that the the overhang on all sides is going to be 600 millimeters and the other bit of information you'd need would be how long so that the Dutch gable is where there's a, a gable here and the hips go up to it so how far from the top plate it would be to the Dutch gable itself so the first thing I want to work out is um, how many rolls of paper um, so we get the the, the total plan area of the roof, so 16 times 8. So the area is 16 times 8, so length times width. Okay, and then when we get that answer there, um, then we divide that by uh, cosine of the pitch of the roof, so the 25 degrees, put that in brackets in your calculator, and so if we say 16 times 8 equals 128, and then we divide that by cosine 25 degrees, and we've got 141 meters of paper. Okay, and we divide that by 25. Uh, sorry, 75. Uh, and we and we the 75 comes from how many square meters in a roll? We know that 75 and 75 is 150, so um, we know the answer will be, sorry, equals, um, it'll be two rolls. Two rolls we'll, we'll do there. Okay, so that's the uh, paper. Next thing we're going to work out is the, um, the length of the long sheet of iron. So the long sheet. Now, if you have a look at my other video on um, lengths of a rafter, you'll see that we started with the uh, the run of the roof. So the um, how far is it from here to here uh, in plan view? So we know if that's if that's eight meters. So from here to here will be four, and from here and here will be four because both pictures are the same. Okay, so we say four meters. Do we divide that by? cosine of the pitch which would be 25 and that equals so if we say 4 um, divided by cosine 25 equals 4.414 4 meters and then we're also going to add on um, the the fascia width which is 32 millimeters. Uh, also the uh, overhang, the overhang from the, the roof into the spouting. So that'd be another 60 millimeters. And that equals four, five, zero, six meters, 4.5. Okay, so that's how long the shoot of iron would be. Repeat that same process for over here. So short sheet. <clears throat> so we know from here to here was 2.4 you've got to take that off the truss plan and then you've got another 600 millimeters of um, overhang so add those two together three meters so I do the same process three divided by cosine 25 equals three divided by cosine 25 equals is 3.310 plus um, what's that 92 again and that equals uh, 3.219 meters now um, the other thing we want to do is work out how many how many sheets we need so if we know that this total length here is 16 meters, so this is a number 
Oh, we'll do the long sheets first. So if we said that this is 16 and we know we've got three meters here and three meters here. So we say, say 16 minus, so three and three is six. So six equals 10 meters. Okay, now a, sh a sheet of iron, each sheet which goes down like that, that's a sheet of roofing on like that. They have an effective cover of 760 millimetres. And that's all corrugated iron. So we divide that and that's called the effective cover. So we divide that by 0.76. So you say 10 divided by 0.76 equals about 13.1. So we know that the, the other half of that sheet, or the other 0.9 of it, will do the other side. So if we said that that's... Um, 13.1 sheets okay and there's two sides to this so we're actually going to need round up to 14 times two sides one side here two sides here okay so <clears throat> in this case here um, we need 13 and a bit there and 13 a bit there so we'd need um, what's that 27 sheets all right now the short sheets so that would do that whole area from there to there. So that's that area there done. So the only area we've got is this short one. Now we've already know how long these sheets are and we know that it's eight meters from here to here. So if I just wanted these sheets here, the off cut from here will go down to here. Okay, so that off cut will actually fit down there. We can't, I know it looks like it would go there but the problem with that is the, the, the overlap of the sheet is in the wrong place. And and just as this offcut here will we'll end up up there. So so the number of short sheets, we say 10, oh sorry, where was I? Eight meters down there. We divide that by 0 0.76, eight divided by 0.76 and we've got 10.5 sheets so it's more than it's more than the half so we say we need 11 sheets but then we need times two sides that'll be um, 22 sheets so 11 for this end 11 for that end um, if you've got any more questions just flick me an email or a, um, or a text